This famous production of Figaro featured mezzo Frederica von Stader and soprano Kiri Tikanawa. They both went on to have massive international careers. Today, these two opera legends are making a nostalgic return visit to Glyndebourne and have bumped into George and Mary Christ, own, owners of the renowned Sussex Opera House, which has been completely rebuilt since Frederica was last here. She said, "Put the dressing room here." I said, "No, no, 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 I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> angel. No, no, no. God, no one knows. <laughs> Glyndebourne, just the very word, of course, conjures up a sort of a life of champagne and whatever it's going to be. I mean, do you sometimes feel that that, that lifestyle, the lifestyle of a, of a diva, of an opera star, of people in that world, is uh, very removed from everyday life. Well, we, we, the two of us, I mean, we, we're so undiva, we're so diva. I don't think, I don't think I've ever considered myself this thing called a diva because I was thought it was a diver. And <laughs> <laughs> I never figured out what it was. Yeah. Did either of you meet Callas at all? Or you, you must have seen her sing. No, I was supposed to meet her. I was supposed to go and work with her, and uh, it was about the year she died, which was just a, such a sadness. But I did see one of the very last concerts, and. Uh, um, I loved. I loved her. Well, I thought she was all wonderful. I think her standard still remains. Yeah. We all look to the standard that she wanted and demanded, and that's why she was difficult. It's such a commitment, <coughs> you know. It's interesting what you say. That's why she was difficult. Well, that's what they called her difficult because yeah. she wanted a certain standard. Now, I look at why it was, and it was because we all want exactly what she was aiming for, and we sometimes can achieve it, but not always. If you play with someone who's great, <clears throat> everything gets great around you because someone is really driven to get the best and it spreads. It's, I've never seen it be, you know, a, a negative focus. And it takes a lot of courage. I don't have it. So I speak from great appreciation for anyone that has it. I just go in my dressing room and cry and pray. <laughs> yeah, that, it is a, 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 a light, you can't do it in half measures, can you? Even yeah. though, of course. There are many sacrifices. Yeah. It, it's tiring. It's so tiring. And, um, it, it, you know, you've got to be young and, and have masses of energy. And, you know, we're both over 60 now. <laughs> all, right, so you're, all right, so you're, you're over 60 and you're still singing. Here you are. You're right. going to sing together. You're, you're singing together. You have this voice at the beginning and it changes. How, how does it change over the years? Does it, does it change and do you notice its changes? Um, well, it, it didn't, didn't change, my, my voice didn't change too much, but it, there's a certain maturity that, that creeps into it. But then that's why you develop into other roles as well. What about you, Vicky? What do you feel? Um, I think that you just get a sense. It's a, I, the feeling I describe it is <clears throat> sometimes I'm at my daughter's prom all dressed up in, a, up in a prom dress, only I'm 60, you know, there's a, a big bow sort of somewhere back here and it all of a sudden feels, no, <laughs> the time has come. And it's just different and I think your energies are different and you know you have a different presence on stage. And while we're having fun, yeah. and as someone says, as long as you're not embarrassing the horses, let's keep going. <laughs>
For Kiri and Frederica, the pressure's off. They can enjoy themselves on stage. 